while we're on this topic, just real quick, I want to say, I told Sean about, I don't know if you heard, but announced the other day that um, Halo Infinite campaign is releasing without co-op. Yeah, which is kind of soft. Uh, what the hell? But so, uh, I will say that every other Halo game has had it at launch. But yeah, I do think that maybe they want people to play the campaign on their own to get through it before they release co-op, which is really no. what I initially thought, but it's probably just not ready. No, it's not ready. <laughs> They're also not putting Forge out, which like whatever, but I never fucked with Forge anyway. So the thing is, is that this game has clearly had problems that they're like not talking uh, about. That's a fucking uh, yeah. We we already know that with like when the you know Craig this, and everything was is shown. Is it still three four three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So nobody really is gonna know probably until maybe they release some stuff later about the making. I of, miss Bungie, man. Well, Bungie. So it just there's something going on where uh, they delayed it like the day after they showed the trailer off before, and then they showed a trailer the C three of like. Pretty much nothing, really. Like, it was cool, but they said, well, we wanted to focus on getting the game out. We didn't want to stop to put together a good slice for a trailer. Whatever, I'll buy it. And then they do the multiplayer beta test thing, which, that's cool, but, like, I was thinking that they would delay the campaign again and they'd put out the multiplayer. That's really what I thought. And honestly, I wish they would do that and not put the campaign out without co-op, because, I yeah, I'll play through it by myself, but I know a lot of people that do play it co-op exclusively basically like they don't care unless they're with friends and it sucks that even they're not long campaigns maybe this one will be longer than some of the others but if you go through it and you beat it like i don't want to wait months to be like oh now that co-op's back out let's go and do that again like that's not really what i want and i'm kind of confused but maybe this is my thought and i just wanted to hear what you guys think about this small conspiracy that uh they want to put them out at the same time the campaign and the and the multiplayer. The multiplayer is coming out free to play, we've talked about. And although there's not going to be any co-op, maybe they're working on balancing or maybe it's just some issue. I don't I don't know. But whatever it is, they want them out at the same time because free to play multiplayer is going to come out. People are going to play that who maybe don't have Game Pass, maybe don't really care that much about Halo, be like this is a ton of fun. And then well, maybe I want to try the campaign. Yeah, and then they're like, "Well, it's on Game Pass," and then they subscribe, and then maybe they stay subscribed. And I still say I'm sure they're gonna have the multiplayer have some kind of if you're subscribed to Game Pass like bonus, like maybe you get a discount on the battle pass or you get exclusive gear when there's events or something. I don't know, but uh, I just feel like they're gonna try to sucker people in. And if the multiplayer comes out and the campaign isn't out yet, all those people that would have an interest in getting the campaign and getting in Game Pass, probably will stop playing Halo by the time it's ready. Yeah. just I, The thing I will say, though, is that this kind of loops back to the last topic of Game Pass, is that when Halo Infinite launches, I'm not going to have to pay $60 to get the game on yeah, day one. I'm talking... I know you're. That's what you're talking about, but it just kind of loops back to what I, the point I was also making. But also, it does suck that co-op's not going to be available, and it does feel like... I don't know. Kind Why of, not just wait? I, that's what I'm saying. I, I think that's what my conspiracy was, is that they don't want to wait because they want them to come out at the same time yes. to try to get people to be like, oh, this actually free multiplayer, not Game Pass yeah. multiplayer, was fun, and I want to get the campaign. Like, oh, Halo's good again, or I haven't played I Halo to, since. Yeah, like, exactly. So, I, I Yeah, I, I, I think you're spot on with that. But now I'm like... I thought Sean was finally going to play a computer game with me, and maybe we'd play Halo Infinite campaign together. I'd love to, man. I'll wait for the co-op campaign to even play the campaign. I will surely have enough no. fun with the multiplayer no, and I get know. good at the fucking game before I play the co-op. Yeah. I normally do play co-op, or sorry, the campaign before I do multiplayer in every game, but I would probably do the opposite with Halo if, if it meant waiting to play with you. No. Well, I appreciate that, <laughs> but you can play it solo. I was just joking, but... It's just crazy. Like, I wonder how long it's going to take. Because if it was a month or two, like, maybe it's balancing. Maybe it's, like, something weird where there's parts in the game that they can't figure out how to make with two people. Because it's supposed to be kind of open world. Maybe they haven't figured out, like, can you get stuck by yourself if someone else is there? And they yeah. have to figure out a way to make that work. Which I don't really get because they would just teleport you like old games. But anyways, I just thought that was interesting and kind of shitty because I think... Halo, to me, has always been... I mean, we didn't have anything till 360, so I remember playing through Halo 1 and 2, like, 
at a friend's house co-op like exclusively because I didn't have it on my own. Yeah, it's it's one of the most fun ways to play the game is with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Whether it's online or not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I if I were them, I would hold on multiplayer. Mm. Because what everybody wants is multiplayer. I yeah, think. But I, well, think I think that's what's going to loop people into the campaign. I think Steve's right. I think that if you are you think guy, so? Yeah, no, well, hold. So the problem I will say is I do know like even back in the day I knew kids that would buy the next COD and just play the multiplayer and like not even touch the campaign because that's I, what they want. I feel want. like that's uh, the majority of gamers. But they've already said that the multiplayer is going to be free to play. So I feel like the thought process is you put them out at the same time because the few people that might want to get into Game Pass, like even if it's 5%, you know, they get like, you know, I don't know how much it's going to sell, million copies or whatever. Uh, maybe they get 5% of that and they get still a shit ton of people joining into Game Pass. They recoup that money after having those people subscribe for however long. They're missing an opportunity to... Because in my opinion, I feel like if I had to put a number on it, I would say 70% of people who play Halo want to play the... Uh, just want really mostly want to play multiplayer. Would you agree with that number? I don't know... I almost don't only based on like my personal like uh, uh, anecdotes of friends and stuff that I think Halo is like Maybe the franchise. 60%? The fran it's Halo of, of all the shooters is like one of the franchises that people do actually care about the lore and stuff. Not everyone. I got a couple people that are like I only play it because like it's a shooter yeah. with friends. But I personally liked both. So let's say for sake of argument, fifty percent. Yeah, 50, 50. I, I got you. I I don't know. You could it could be ninety that don't yeah. give a shit about the campaign, but if if the campaign comes out first, and all the people that like that want to play the multiplayer is like I'll I will buy or get on Game Pass to play campaign to tide myself over until I get multiplayer. That's what I think. I don't know about that. I w that's how I would do it. I just I feel like you know I'm not bungy. If you're really into the <laughs> into the multiplayer and that's what you want. I feel like you don't pick up the campaign to get used to it. Like maybe if you're like, I want to brush up my skills, but that's going to even be a smaller percentage. I really think it's going to be more since it's already free to play multiplayer that those people are going to maybe be like, I kind of want to see some story. And again, maybe you haven't played since Halo 2 or 3 mm -hmm. and you're interested this is supposed to be kind of like a soft reboot. That's why it's not like Halo 6. It's Halo Infinite with Master Chief.